Retro Night Gaming with time for another video, another how to. Today we're going to go into how to change themes. Um, themes are what you're looking at right now. This is a theme, it's called Arcade Planet. Um, there are a lot of different choices for Batacera. Um, I'm going to go over how to change them, but I'm also going to go over how to get more. All right. So the theme section is in the start menu. You hit the start button and you're going to scroll down to user interface settings. And right there, it says theme set. Now that is the current theme. It is Arcade Planet. This particular build I have has quite a few themes. We have Art Flicks, uh, Book, Epic Noir, Battis Era Club Reloaded, Carbon, Comic Strap, HUD Gem, and RBGM. All right, so if you want to change to another theme, all you're going to do is just tap on it. Hit the, hit the A button or the South button, and then hit the back button, give it a minute to think about it, and here we are. Whole new theme. All right, so that's easy enough. But the question is now, you know, how do we go and get more? You know, because there are a lot of people that maybe you're not, you know, happy with the, the theme that you have currently set. You're not stuck with it. You can get a lot more, okay? So what we're gonna do is from the, the main menu, we're gonna hit start. We're going to scroll down to network settings first Make sure that you either have a network cable plugged in so you're on the internet, or go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi and log into your Wi-Fi. Okay, so once you're connected to the internet, you're going to see up in the upper corner, right up there, the little Wi-Fi um, symbol. So that shows that you are on the internet, all right? So once you've got that, from the start menu, go down to where it says updates and downloads. Uh, and as you can see under downloads, there are themes. So give it a minute. It will look through all the themes. Uh, the nice thing is it'll show you a little illustration of, you know, a, a depiction of what the theme is going to look like on the right hand side. And you can scroll through all the themes currently available for Batacera. And these do update. Uh, there are regularly, um, you know, regularly add, they will add themes to it more and more. We've actually gotten um, a bunch more this year. Um, some great ones. They even also added uh, some Hursty themes. Um, so, you know, go through, choose what you want. Um, when you click on it, it is going to start um, installing. It takes a little bit of time depending upon the speed of your internet. So give it some time. Uh, there'll be um, a little message that comes in the upper right hand corner that will say that it's downloading. I'll, I'll, I'll give an, I'll show a little demo here. So right there, I click on that, it says install. And then as you can see up in the upper right hand corner, it said it's downloading. All right, so when it's finished, um, it will tell you, it will say that it's extracting. And once it's installed, It'll be all done. The little box in the upper right hand corner will go away. So you'll know that it's finished installing. And then you'll have the theme that you chose as one of your options. While it's doing that, um, I will let it finish. But I want to briefly go into one additional section with themes is you can change the way your theme looks. You're not stuck with the exact fonts, the exact color scheme that the theme, the default version of the theme has. You can go in and change it to look the way you want, which is kind of nice. And some of these have a lot of options for changing them. So from the start menu, I always like to kind of start on an even keel here. Hit the start button, go down to user interface settings, and then go to theme configuration. And you can go in, you can change the way the game list shows, the default grid size, the logos and the artwork by region, uh, animated game lists, you know, the various styles and, you know, geo style aspect ratio of the theme. So that's pretty great because you can change it if you're uh, utilizing, say, a four by three skiing screen instead of a 16 by nine, which a lot of people are on, on certain um, arcade machines. Um, there you go. You can set it right like that how you want it to be viewed horizontally or vertically, um, showing random artwork in the system view, as you notice, as an example, you know, right here, oh, let me finish that. You know, we've got the artwork that's there. You see some of the, some of the graphics from um, certain games in that particular system. So, you know, you can actually go in and change, you know, what you see, you know, the, the logo color, the, the, the color of, 
the actual um, selector, you know, the, the color of the text, uh, scroll direction and grids. I mean, there are a lot of different choices here. So if you have a theme you like, but it's not quite exactly what you want, go ahead and experiment. And you can change it in a lot of different ways of sometimes making, you know, keeping the, the fundamental aspects of that theme, but then making it your own. So give it a shot. As you notice up above, it says Hexa theme installed successfully. So it's done. It, Batisera lets you know. Um, what we can do, we'll just check it out since we downloaded it together. Um, let's, let's go back. There we go. And there's Hexa. And I hit the back button. There we go. And that's the theme we downloaded. And if you don't like it, or you want to change it, hit start, go back to user interface settings, and either change the theme set to a different one, or go down here and modify it. If you modify it and you don't like what you've done, um, you, can, you can actually go in and hit reset customizations. So that's a nice thing in there. So from the theme configuration section, you can reset your customizations. Um, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna change it back to one of my favorite themes, which is of course, Arcade Planet. Uh, and so I select it, hit the, the East button, and then Arcade Planet is back. All right, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Please hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the video, feel free and contact me through my website, retronightgaming.com. Ask me a question. I'm always happy to help. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.